What's in the bag? Church edition show. Welcome. We're so glad that you're here today. Um, we are here to kind of show you how we would pack a bag for church. Um, when we go back to church, we the kids will not be going into children's church, and so um, you'll have all your kiddos with you. And so we want you to be prepared. So today we are going to be packing a bag, and this is the bag that we chose. And it has l literally so many pockets, a million pockets. And as a parent, you know, we love pockets and we need lots of pockets to help us stay. It helps us to stay organized and helps us to keep all of our stuff in order. And so today my assistant here, his name is Jackson. I'm Miss Vanessa. I am the children's director at Faith United Methodist Church. And so yeah, Jackson is going to be packing our bag here and I'm going to be showing you all the different items that you should pack. But yeah. Everybody's different, so if some item doesn't work for you, that's okay. All right, so here is the backpack. Jackson, you're in charge of packing it, okay? So first things first, if you have a small child or children that are still in diapers, be sure to pack your diapers and wipes. And wipes even really come in handy for older kids like Jackson because you oftentimes use wipes to wipe your hands off or whatever if things get sticky, right? He uses wipes too. But yeah, so get some wipes, get you some diapers, whatever kind you like is good. Um, next thing that you're going to need is water bottle. You could bring a water bottle like this or a water bottle like this, doesn't matter. Um, just pack yourself a water bottle if um, your child is in, has sippy cups or bottles. Make sure to bring your stuff for that. Um, can but I, can I move moving on. So the next thing that you're going to pack is hand sanitizer. I have a thieves brand, but um. Yeah, you can use whatever brand that you like. Um, they have like certain recommendations on what kind of um, hand sanitizer you need to protect yourselves from COVID-19. So, you know, kind of whatever hand sanitizer that the CDC recommends, that's what we recommend. All right, Jackson, you want to pack this stuff up for me? Um, so our lovely assistant Jackson had to take a little bit of a break but now we are going to be talking about snacks. What kinds of snacks should you pack in your church bag? And so I have a granola bar here. I'm not going to show you what brand it is, but a granola bar. And then also like it's um, like some soft popcorn. Um, it is kind of crunchy, but not really. I mean, it's not like super distracting or anything like that. But it kind of just like melts in your mouth kind of popcorn. So I have this and this. Um, there are like... Other snacks that are quiet snacks you could pack, maybe some fruit snacks, things like that. Um, it is kind of noisy as you can hear, so if you want to avoid that noise, I recommend that you unpackage them from these containers or these um, packages and then you put them into a, like a Ziploc bag. Um, I like to use eco-friendly bags. You, they're silicone and like plastic. You can reuse them, put them in your dishwasher. They're super great and perfect. You can buy them pretty cheap on Amazon. So I didn't get mine from Amazon, but you can buy them on Amazon. Um, so yeah, you could use Ziploc bags or you could use these kinds of bags, um, kind of whatever you want. But you just unpackage them, put them in these bags, and then you're ready to go. My lovely assistant Jackson is back. He had to take a little break, but he's back now, and he is packing up the snacks that we just talked about. And so now he is going to go on to film the next section, which is um, what toys you should pack. All right, Jax, take it away. I'll pack the bag up this time. Okay. So what's our so first thing? So you snack? should pack a figure, not not like not a battling one. No. Right, not like a battling. battlefield, no. No, but, we shouldn't um, pack any, any bad figures. 
That's Jackson's advice. So here's our figure. We're going to pack in our and bag. You can bring a little one too. Yeah, you can. So you can pack like a medium size or this little guy here we have. So, you know, you might want to put him in a special pocket so he doesn't get lost. Yeah, that is true because one time I lost one of my favorite pockets. Yeah. All right. So, what's our next item, Jackson? Next item? Yeah, what's our next item? Is the Bible. Oh, we have a children's Bible. And so, while our big kids are in service, um, one thing that I recommend is that they bring their own Bible. Um, little kids, too, if they want to. But um, our big kids, they are old enough to where they could kind of a little bit follow along with the sermon. Um, there's awesome printables online on, like, how children can follow the sermon. It's like a little outline, and they can draw pictures and, like, write what they got from the sermon and write down the scripture and stuff like that. So I'll have some of that available, too, but if you want to print off some, um, I can put a couple links in the description below. Yeah. So a Bible. Um, you can bring a children's Bible. Um, yeah, those outlines to follow the sermon for our big kids. Super important for them to learn how to study the Bible at their age because it helps them as they grow and get older to um, do that on their own, which is super important. All right, Jax, what's our next oh, item we have? Yeah. The next item is a coloring book. Yes, this is awesome. This is our first grade big workbook because my guy right here is going into the first grade. But you can bring um, like activity books or coloring books. There's more like learning activities in this, but kind of whatever works for you and your family. But this is what we have today. So I'm going to put that in the bag. And this... The next thing Jackson has is crayons, but yeah. all the crayons are out of it because they got dumped somehow. But I'll, we'll just show off the box. Yeah. Show them the box. <clears throat> crayons. You yeah. need the crayons for the coloring book. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Some crayons. I will also have some prepackaged crayons, but if you have your own, I recommend that you bring them or colored pencils, whatever your child prefers to use. Markers could be a little bit messy, so I might keep those at home. Um, yeah. yeah, because they can get marked tables. Yeah, they can mark tables or pews or whatever like that. So, What's our next item, Jackson? I think it's a book. Yeah, it's a soft book. Yeah, it's, you want to show it to them? This is Lincoln's, but you should always bring a book too. Yeah, you want to show them? Yeah, so this is uh, Lincoln's little soft book he's got. So, sorry, our dog has joined us for this church edition of What's in My Bag. <laughs> Real life. All right, so, soft book for our littlest, littlest ones. All right, Jax, what's up next? Show us what else we oh. should pack in our bag. This is another book. Go on, babe. Another book? Crazy. Yep, we just got like a hard book. Um, there's like plenty of books that you guys can pack or bring to church. Also, I recommend if you have like a hard book, or like a hard surface that fits in a bag like this um, to bring it because when your kids are coloring on a coloring sheet or something, you're going to want like a hard surface for them to be able to write on. And there's not going to be any Bibles or hymnals or anything in the pews or anything to write on at all. So definitely bring something like that. <laughs> and it should help help them color more comfortably. Okay, so show us our next item. Plush. Plush toy. So we have a doggy plush toy. He's kind of small, so he fits in our bag really nicely. And then this guy, he's a llama. It's Lincoln's llama. Um, he's a bit bigger, but our bag's big enough. It could fit it. So we have our llama. And remember, with plush toys, if you do bring plush toys to church, mm -hmm. that you are going to want them to be 
something that's washable because when you get home, right when you get home from church, you're going to want to throw those plush toys in the washer because the CDC recommends to do, to wash the plush toys after one child has used them. So I know like in your home you shared the same germs, but it would just be good anyways to wash them because you're out and about and whatever. Yeah, so this is like our last item, isn't it? We don't really have any more items to do. So yeah, this is our last guy. Um, everything that you do pack in your bag, I recommend when you get home to just wipe the bag down, wipe everything down, and make sure, especially if they're if it's something that they really like to play with a lot, um, that it's safe because you were just out and about at the church. And um, we are going to make sure that we are doing um, cleaning the way that the CDC recommends, but just to be cautious and careful, make sure that you are wiping your stuff down and cleaning it when you get home. Also, the next tip that I have um, is if you have little ones, bring a pacifier or a lovey um, blanket, a small tiny blanket, anything that makes them comfortable, bring it so that way if they get upset or fussy, you can soothe them. Yes? Um, uh, the, the plush is, they remind me of my plush bang, which is, I like to call my little dog plush that because that's what my dog plush looks like, bang. Yeah, it does look like bang. Yeah, so, um, here is our packed bag. It has all of our stuff inside of it. I'm sure there are other things that we might think to pack, but these are kind of the essentials that you might want to pack. So, all right, Jackson, let's say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Bye. And Bane says bye, too. Thank you for joining us in our What's in the Bag Church Edition show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Thanks for joining us. Bye.